This is the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy. The Australian reports that the floods in Queensland, Australia, may cost the economy $13 billion because of lost productivity and infrastructure damage. Large parts of Queensland and its capital, Brisbane, remain heavily affected by the worst floods in over three decades. The Port of Brisbane, the third busiest port in Australia, will remain closed for the next few days while work has halted on at least $5 billion worth of commercial projects. Economists forecast that the floods may cut the country's economic growth projections by at least 1 percent due to stalled projects and decreased production and operations. J.P. Morgan chief economist Stephen Walter said, quote, the recent developments mean we will probably push through further growth downgrades in coming days, depending on how quickly the floodwaters subside and how much damage is done in Brisbane. The eventual cost of the economy would be as high as 1 percent of GDP, $13 billion if the damage to infrastructure is severe. Despite inflation concerns over higher food prices and rebuilding cities, the Reserve Bank will most likely keep interest rates steady until early next year. Citigroup estimated the cost of rebuilding to be around $20 billion. The federal government is expected to cover 50 to 75 percent of flood costs, making a commitment to return the national budget to a surplus by 2013 extremely difficult. The cost to the state government will be at least $2.5 billion, and the Queensland Treasury Corporation is looking at the likelihood of issuing more bonds to aid in repairs. The Australian dollar fell yesterday, reaching a one-month low of 98.06 U.S. dollars before rallying in the late session to 98.51 U.S. dollars. For further updates, stay tuned. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy.